This is Peter, and this is Peter's home, one of Europe's pristine and remote mountain ranges. Peter makes cheese, and thanks to the pure mountain environment and the traditional methods he uses, it's wonderful and unique. Its intense aroma always reminds Peter of his grandfather, who passed the cheese-making tradition down to him. But all is not well for Peter and his cheese. Finding new markets is costly and takes away from time he needs to spend farming. It can be difficult and expensive to get the materials he needs, and the poor highland roads can make transportation hard. Some retailers won't accept the cheese because Peter and his family can only deliver seasonally and in small quantities. And some clients don't know enough about Peter's cheese to try it. Yet anybody who's ever tasted it loves it. All in all, things are pretty tough. But like Peter's grandfather used to say, when the going gets tough, the tough get going. Peter teams up with John and Sarah, who make similar cheese in a nearby valley. Working together, they found a producer's cooperative. They design a common brand for their cheese. Packaging, labeling, promotion and transport is now done jointly. And because together they can produce larger amounts, they are better able to bargain with big retailers. Though they still sell cheese directly on the farm, now they also sell it in supermarkets, specialty shops, in farmers markets and on a newly established web platform. Through well-thought-out labels, leaflets and posters, they've changed how people think about their cheese. Now their clients love it. They know all about the careful traditional process used to make the cheese and that it supports the local economy. People begin to associate the delicious taste of the cheese with a local landscape and culture. Over time, Peter's cheese starts to become as famous as the beautiful mountain range where it's made. Even the local tourist officer uses it to promote the region. And it works. Local hotels and restaurants set up special deals to serve the cheese. Visitors come from all over, eager for John's famous cheese-tasting parties, while others come to spend a day learning at Sarah's newly opened show farm. Now the farmers want to make a mountain cheese hiking trail with on-farm accommodation. They will try to get EU funding for the project. And already, Peter, Sarah and John have an idea about using an EU-wide label for their mountain products. And so things are getting better for Peter and his wonderful cheese. In fact, things are going so well, he's had to hire a few more farmhands just to keep up with demand. And what's best, Peter's daughter hopes to carry on her father's farm, once she's finished with her studies, of course. Peter's story isn't unique. It can be done with other products and in other regions. Yes, there are challenges to be overcome and it takes hard work and careful planning. But... The potential of mountain products really is enormous.